Winston Peters returned to Parliament today hosting his first caucus meeting with a number of new MPs. But anyone hoping for insights into his possible coalition demands will have been left disappointed. Political editor Jenna Lynch has the latest. Winston Peters, welcome to Wellington. It's been a while. Returning to the capital after three years in the political wilderness, greeted by his old foes, questions. Mr Peters, welcome back. Have you spoken to Christopher Luxon yet? Upon questions... What's the most pressing issue for you in the next government? Upon questions... What's Christopher Luxon had to say to you? All left unanswered. You must be happy to be back in Wellington. The man with much to say rendered mute. Wherever Winston wanders, there's always a perspective from the public. Here goes that party bastard's hell. But even that only drew a wave in the trademark grin. Have you spoken to National? No question was worth an answer today. Are you the next Speaker of the House? Mustering his voice only for manners. Thanks, mate. You're welcome. Before he sped off, bound for his well-trodden turf, getting Peters into the Parliament, a full-scale operation through a little-known entrance. News Hub spotted him, though. Mr Peters, have you spoken to Christopher Luxon yet? So began round two of silence. Why won't you say anything, Mr Peters? Returning New Zealand First MP Mark Patterson keeping details tight. Like, what's what's the plan for today? Is he meeting with Christopher Luxon? I don't know. Down to business inside, but the secrecy strategy was scuppered by a clear glass window, quickly fixed up with some frosting before a change of location. So you're not going to tell us what the plan is for the rest of the day? Oh, yeah. You don't even know where we're going. Well, no, well, we're, we're going to find out if we... Committee room turned caucus room. More questions shut down by the party president. Can you just tell us what the process is? That's all we want to know. No. Has Winston talked to... Oh, you've just dropped some money. It's quite a sizable piece. Has um, Winston talked to Chris Luxon yet? No comment. Before New Zealand first called for a rule change and our cameras were turfed out of the corridor. Well, the swipes let us in and then five minutes later they've been swapped. Yes, when so Fletcher been came out and... It's been changed. Yeah. Variations of no comment echoed off Wellington buildings all day. How does it feel to be back in Parliament? I won't say any more for now, thanks. <laughs> Do you have any word for New Zealand public? Eventually, the team offering up morsels. You've been waiting, so we thought we'd bring you some afternoon this, tea. Oh, is this actually why you've come out? Yeah. Oh, thank you very you're much. Going, you know, the whole thing. Of Kai, what? rather than information. Oh, there's no rhetoric to share, but there's the equivalent of loaves and fishes. OK, guys? Thank you very and much. And at the end of the day... Spoke international yet? How was your meeting? The public none the wiser as to Peter's plans. Jenna Lynch, News Hub. Well, Jenna joins us live now from Parliament. Jenna, that was icy. Is this what we can expect during the negotiation period? Yeah, Winston Peters has just tweeted saying greetings from Parliament, thanking his supporters, but also saying currently we are waiting for the final vote count of over 570,000 voters. Without this information, we must avoid speculation. So, radio silence appears to be the goal on all fronts here. Problem is, when there is power at play, often there are different motives for little pieces of information making their way to the media. And Wellington is a very small town, particularly this little neighbourhood, as Winston Peter's found out today you can't move far without us finding out about it. One school of thought is that they move the negotiations away from Wellington, perhaps to Auckland, away from the prying eyes of the press gallery, but I couldn't even get a straight answer on that today. Such is the secrecy this is being shrouded in, or perhaps they haven't quite decided how it's all going to roll. Uh, how it's all going to roll out. We have done this dance before. It is going to be a long couple of weeks of politicians ducking and dying from letting the public in on democracy. OK, well, hang on in there, Jenna and the team. Uh, <laughs>